everyone and welcome to Minecraft! Today I wanted to show you a little build design that I came up with as I was trying to uh, figure out something pretty much I was trying to figure out how to make a kelp farm without draining all of the water because a lot of the kelp farms I've seen they go back behind the pistons and all that and they drain all the water out and then like put all their redstone wiring and stuff back there so I was fiddling around with pistons and redstone blocks and observers and such and I finally came up with this design so if we swim over here I'll show you here real quick so it's a very simple design very elegant um, very resource intensive though this is probably not the type of thing you're gonna build as an early game kelp farm <laughs> um, so what you'll notice too also back here is that some of the observers are up against the sticky pistons some of them aren't um, that's just because sometimes they stick and sometimes they don't it doesn't matter either way you still wind up getting the pulse if you look see I will go over here real quick and we'll just, boom see that one still broke and that one still broke so it doesn't really matter which way you do it they still wind up going up you can also stack this straight up and down um, like put a block here and then put your next kelp here instead but um, one of the problems you'll, you'll see is uh, here, if I just put this block here real quick I'll show you so sometimes it'll break and it'll go forward into its thing but other times it'll break and let's see if I can get it to happen on camera here real quick there see sometimes it'll stick underneath the block and we don't want that so what we need to do to prevent the losses of that is stack it kind of going up at a diagonal but if you don't mind losing some of the kelp here and there you can feel free to stack them straight up and down because they won't affect each other directly like um they well they'll still affect each other but it won't be like it won't break the system so I'll build one right here real quick to show you how it works on camera so you got your kelp your stone block your piston you want to take your second your first observer and put it so that the face is out this way you want a second observer up here with the face pointing out towards the kelp and a sticky piston pointing downward if we can get it here there we go so that's what will pretty much wind up making the whole system work if you see here we'll just and there you go um, and then just to show you that it doesn't affect it to stack it straight up and down we'll just go ahead and put another one in here we'll just take the observer and it to face that way okay and then we will put there oh, wait nope that's not how I do it I forgot to put a layer of stone between them. okay so there we go now we put a stone block here let's go ahead and just stack a little bit of stone here try and get the observer to point the way we want it maybe pull that out real quick so that way there we go okay put another piston another observer going this way and then if we put a sticky piston pointing downwards now see if we go ahead and we take we take our kelp and we stack it up see it doesn't have any effect on the second and it can stack straight up like that all the way but like I said every so often the kelp will get stuck on the blocks and that's not really what you want so 
I don't know if there's a way to fix that or not other than stacking it in this tiled design. Now when you tear it backwards like this it does have a side effect. It will cause a chain reaction all the way down the line. So that's a heads up for that one. Um, but it will only do along one row. So like watch it only triggers going all the way down this row. This single row. It doesn't go and harvest the whole thing all at once. So you could stack it this way if you want or you can stack it that way if you want. Either way works just as well. Again it's kind of resource intensive. It's not going to be something you're going to build super early game. Um, but if you got the resources for it this is probably the only one I've seen that is a completely no drain based uh, kelp farming module. So hope you guys enjoyed and uh, if you guys use this on your own servers let me know in the comments down below. Bye!